you know, Donald Trump is going to face Hillary Clinton tomorrow night, actually Sunday. And right in the wake of the revelations of his comments about grabbing the privates of women, or allegedly so, whether or not he was actually confessing something that he did, or whether it was just simple, let's impress Billy Bush talk, I don't know. The bottom line is he said it, it was inappropriate, and it's caused a firestorm and wrecked his campaign. But it's also set up a similar watershed moment in American and world culture where essentially the entitled male, not necessarily white, is put on, in a sense, a court before a woman who is vying to be the next president of the United States, Hillary Clinton. And writ large, we will have the opportunity to see how he represents what he did, something that is not openly talked about, before a woman who has had to deal with a husband who is, in a lot of ways, like Donald Trump. We've never seen this before in our entire life. As my mom would say, what does this have to do with running for president? The answer is nothing and everything. Nothing because it doesn't deal directly with policy, but everything because it deals with symbols of our culture. The president of the United States has always represented our values at the moment. It's obvious that Donald Trump doesn't represent our values, but to what degree are we really ready to shun him or are we shunning more than him? The alpha male has built much of world society. Does this debate mark an attempt to kill the alpha male? Is that what being a man is about? These are very fundamental questions that have to be answered and have to be discussed. I'm excited to see this, this debate. It's going to be great. And not only that, as I pointed out, and Van Jones have pointed out, black men are commonly assumed to be the, the sexual predators, right? The people that did what Donald Trump talks about doing. We've given Donald Trump a lot of passes that he would not have gotten if you were black. And it's time for us to stop shaming and blaming and boxing black men as sexual predators and allowing white men to get away with being sexual predators. That's the problem. Because as a black person, you can just simply be in a room, black man in particular. And there was this fear. Thank God for programs like Luke Cage, which put a black man in the face as a hero, a bulletproof hero. And says to society, here I am, writ large, deal with me. That's a first. So we have a lot of cultural cross points this past week, beautifully installed by the Lord for us to absorb, ponder, and for those of us who don't like them, deal with them. But tomorrow night's debate is a prime mark, a landmark, where these cultural lines cross, and the outcome of that crossing will be glorious to watch.